if the poor are hungry they will attack you they will revolt so give them subsistence level unemployment allowance some sort of security social security give them something otherwise they will revolt i hear that they call it the internal management of capitalism now what is islam maybe you are astonished to know according to me my study islam doesn't have one economic system it has two one economic system at the height of spirituality deep faith and height of spirituality the system is something else at the legal level at the common people level the system is something else there are four cardinal principles of islamic economic system at the high spiritual level of the deep level of belief and iman number 1 nobody owns anything neither individuals nor the nation nor the state ownership is for allah just as in the political system we said ruler is allah sovereignty belongs to him and him alone in the same way billahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi ardi you don't own anything ownership belongs to allah you are only custodians parallel to caliphate these are custodians you don't own even your body you have to be caliph of allah on your body also to enforce the divine law on your own person in your own home in the same way ownership belongs to allah nobody owns anything number 2 whatever you earn maybe through agriculture maybe through business maybe through industry or service somewhere in the offices etc etc whatever you get is not your earning it is the bounty of allah you know if you have hired a person for working as a laborer and you say i will pay you 20 dollars in the evening you have to work for 8 hours here now if you find that the person has worked very hard in a very responsible way he didn't need any supervision to work he was working out of his own responsibility so in the evening you give him 20 dollars plus 5 more this is fabul he couldn't demand it it is not his earning he could demand only 20 dollars the extra five are fabul in the terminology of quran surplus so whatever you get in this world is fabul of allah not your earning the word of earning is quran uses for whether you are earning virtues good deeds for the reward in the hereafter or you are earning bad deeds resulting in punishment in the hereafter these are the earnings la ma kasabat walaiha ma kasabat kasb to earn mostly except only in one place in quran there is use for earning also earning materially the first principle nobody owns anything neither individual nor the state everything belongs to god whatever you get in this world 
is the bounty of Allah, not the result of your labor. Number three, out of this which you have been given, your right is only limited to your needs. Whatever is surplus from your needs is the right of the poor, people who have remained behind financially. Or you may say, it is for Allah. Give it away. It's not yours. Allah has put it in your wealth to test you. Whether you keep it for yourself or you give it to the people whose right it is, not yours. Yes, Saluna ka maza yun fikun, only laugh. When there was, you know, instruction and persuasion, spend for the cause of Allah, spend for the pleasure of Allah, spend and spend and spend and spend a thousand times. People asked, what is the limit? How much? Yes, masa How much we have to spend for the pleasure of Allah? Answer was, laugh. Whatever is spare, whatever is more than your needs, whatever is surplus, give it up. Don't keep it with you. This is the right of the deprived people. These four cardinal principles go to make a complete economic system. The Prophet ﷺ himself, he lived at this level. Never accumulated any wealth, no penny to be retained. And there were a number of his companions whom we call Fuqara as Sahaba. Abu Zar, Abu Darda, they were living at this level. And after that pious caliphate, the Muslim saints, whom we call Sufia, they lived at this level. And in a Muslim society, although these people will be in a very minute minority, but they are the pacemakers. Who is to be honored? Who is to be respected? The wealthy man or this person? Who owns nothing? Who retains no wealth? He is to be honored. He is to be respected. The so moral values, the pace making of these moral values is done by these people who are living their life at this level of economic system. But this is absolutely voluntary, not forced. There is no fixed level that this is your requirement and this is not your requirement. You have to fix it yourself. <laughs> the more you believe in the hereafter, the more you will tighten your belt and spend more, more for the, for the pleasure of Allah. So that you get the reward in the hereafter. To give you an example of the teaching, how the Prophet used to teach his people. A goat was sacrificed in the house of Aisha, the wife of the Prophet. All the meat was distributed among those poor people. The Ashabu Sufa, there were people, you know, who were sitting in the mosque only to learn from the Prophet, doing nothing, no business, no labor. So it was distributed. She only kept one shoulder because this meat of the shoulder was liked by the Prophet. He retained. When the Prophet came, he asked, What remained of that goat? He answered, Nothing but a shoulder. <laughs> 